20,000 years ago, a gigantic cosmic event occurred far out in space, so far away that it was not seen on Earth until 1604. It was a supernova, an exploding star. For people at the time, it seemed that a new star had appeared in the sky. It was in fact the last time such an event could be seen with the naked eye. During 1604, it remained visible for a number of months before fading away in the constellation of Serpentarius, the Serpent Bearer. Throughout Europe, various scholars took the mysterious appearance of this star to be a sign that a new age of enlightenment was at hand. It inspired the founding of a secret society known as the Invisible College. Its purpose to promote new ideas in art, science and mysticism. Based in England, its members included the statesman and explorer Walter Raleigh, Shakespeare's patron Sir Walter Cope, and the gunpowder plotter Robert Catesby. After Raleigh was imprisoned and Catesby was killed during the gunpowder plot of 1605, the society was forced underground, but it inspired a European-wide movement known as the Rosicrucians that later split into various secret societies, including the Freemasons. But what of the original Invisible College? For over four centuries, the whereabouts of its secret meeting place has remained a mystery. Now this may all have changed. This is Cannon's Ashby House in the county of Warwickshire, close to the centre of England. Once the home of John Dryden, the poet, it is now open to the public. At the top of this staircase is an enigmatic chamber. Recently, during renovations, plaster was removed from the walls to reveal perfectly preserved wooden panelling dating from around 1604. Painted on it are the heraldic crests of various families. What this room may have been used for is revealed by an unusual, ornate recess by the door. The top part is flanked by representations of two pillars. And on the bottom part are painted a pair of dividers. Both of these symbols are Masonic the pillars represent the twin columns from the Temple of Solomon and the dividers represent the Eye of Provenance. Originally, the inspiring star of 1604. Although it looks a bit like one, this is not a fireplace. There's no chimney for a start. It seems to be an alcove for containing a ritual washing basin common in the meeting rooms of early Freemasons. But this dates from the early 1600s and Freemasonry as we know it today did not exist until a hundred years later. But the decorations in this room do date from precisely the time of the original Invisible College. And persuasive evidence that they did meet here is found with these heraldic crests. They probably represented those who met here. They include the coat of arms of Sir Walter Raleigh, Sir Walter Cope and Robert Catesby, all thought to have been members of the Invisible College. Yet further evidence that this first secret society met here is found elsewhere in the house. This mural on the walls of an upstairs room, also painted around 1604, actually depicts the new star that appeared in that year as the Eye of Provenance. Strangely, this mural depicts another room in the building, as it was at the time, the dining hall 
downstairs. The windows have changed, but much remains the same. Was this room somehow special? What happened here long before the tourists, back in 1604? The position of the Eye of Provenance in the mural is just above this painting. Is it just possible that something was hidden here? Whatever secrets Canons Ashby may hold, it seems to have been home to the very first secret society of the Renaissance.